I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polynomials. Here is an interesting example. We do not really have a real polynomial here, but we have a polynomial with complex coefficients. So we have a polynomial with complex coefficients. It is a very important question based on previous test papers. The question here is, the zeros of a polynomial x cubed plus i x square plus 6x, where i square is equal to minus 1, are at 0, 2, minus 3, 0, minus 2i, 3i, 0, 2i, minus 3i, or none of the above. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. We'll actually extend the techniques learned on factoring and see how they can be applied with uh, complex coefficients, right? As you know, i square is minus 1. So we are given x cubed plus i x square plus 6x as our polynomial with complex coefficient i. Now we could actually factor x, so we get a quadratic trinomial x squared plus ix plus 6. The difference between this and what you normally use is that we have a coefficient which is complex. So it is not a real number, it's a complex number. Now how do you factor this using the factoring techniques? We know product of 6 and we are looking for sum of plus i. Now, how do I get that part? Now, this could be resolved if I write or change this equation in this fashion, ix. So, instead of plus 6, let me write here as minus of minus 6. Right? So, I've added this step to make my point clear. And that is to say, what I'm going to do now is I'll write the trinomial i square plus ix minus. Now, minus could be written as i square, right? So, so I'm making this very important change here. I'm writing this as i square 6. Do you see that part? Perfect. Now, after doing this, we can look into sum and product. So, we are looking for now a product, which is i square 6 and we are looking for a sum which is i x rather minus i square 6. Do you see this part right? So I hope this is absolutely clear the technique used to factor a trinomial with complex coefficients right? So when you enter the domain of complex numbers there could be some questions like this. So now since we need this as positive we are looking for a positive bigger number, 3 and 2. So we have 3i and minus 2i. So when you add them up, you do get i. So that becomes the key. So using these numbers, we could now factor this as x times x plus 3i times x minus 2i. Does it make sense, right? So that is how it could be factored. You can always verify by expanding and checking whether it really works or not, right? You could do that. Now, once we have factored, now we know the zeros. So, one zero is, of course, at x equals to zero. The other one here will be at minus 3i, right? So, this is at x equals to minus 3i, and the third one is at x equals to 2i. Is that clear to you? So, the option... C is the correct option. Perfect. So that is how you could actually factor polynomials with complex coefficients. So we are working with complex numbers. So in this domain, as you know, i squared is minus 1. So the idea here is that if you have i as a coefficient of any of these uh, uh, terms in a polynomial, in that case, the constant term could be replaced by minus i square, 
right? So because i squared is minus 1 and minus and minus 1 will be plus 1, correct? That's the whole idea. So that is how we could do it. I hope you understand and appreciate the strategy. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.